the sci-fi dream of freezing our bodies so we are able to wake up in the future, or even upload our brain into a robot, has taken a step closer to becoming reality. Scientists have managed to cryonically freeze the brain of a rabbit and recover it in near-perfect condition. They said the brain demonstrates that near-perfect, long-term structural preservation of an intact brain is achievable, and suggests the technique could one day be available to humans. While it may be years before the technique becomes mainstream, scientists led by MIT graduate Robert McIntyre, have made a significant step forward by freezing a rabbit brain while causing minimal damage to it. Until now, the harsh chemical process of freezing a brain caused too much damage, in the form of dehydration and the squashing of neural connections, for it be revived later on. But the experts used a combination of so-called ultrafast chemical fixation and cryogenic storage called aldehyde stabilized cryopreservation in their experiment to solve this problem. This means they drained blood from the animal's head and replaced it by diffusing a deadly chemical fixative called glutaraldehyde through the brain's vascular system. This rapidly stopped metabolic decay and fixed the proteins in place. This process stabilized the tissue and meant that along with other chemicals, the mixture was able to prevent the brain from shrinking and becoming damaged. The result was an intact rabbit brain uniformly filled with such a high concentration of cryoprotectants that it could be vitrified solid and stored at minus 135 degrees Celsius, minus 210 degrees Fahrenheit, the Brain Preservation Foundation, BPF, explained. The brain was later Ruhrmet and the cryoprotectant chemicals removed. Experts used electron microscopes to check the rabbit brain's neural circuits were properly preserved and undamaged when thawed. Every neuron and synapse looks beautifully preserved across the entire brain, said Kenneth Hayworth, president of the BPF and a prize judge. Simply amazing given that I held in my hand this very same brain when it was frozen solid. The process is described in the journal Cryobiology and the achievement has been recognized by the BPF which awarded the team at 21st Century Medicine its Small Mammal Brain Preservation Prize. John Smart, co-founder of the BPF told Motherboard, it's the first time that we have a procedure that can protect everything neuroscientists think is involved with learning and memory. Given the results, it seems to me that long-term memories are successfully preserved by this technique. This is not yet certain or universally agreed, but seems highly likely from my position. Cryonic scientists have long sought a way of enabling medical time travel in which the bodies of patients stop aging, and decaying, and can later be revived and cured by future technologies. They hope to preserve the human brain's 86 billion neurons, for example, by freezing its structure so that long-term memories would be preserved and could be recovered later. They could even be uploaded to a machine if technology had advanced enough at that point. The next challenge is to prove the technique is able to preserve larger brains, such as a pig's, with the ultimate goal being a human's.